Just wondering if you've ever had a player go a winning goal after he's been sent off before. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's my first time. To be fair, uh, I was going mad because when I saw the action on TV, um, I didn't think that they could get uh, sent off. Um, but thanks God, you know, the regulators decided to to get VAR, and today it worked the way it should work. So I'm I'm so happy to to have that. And could you just comment a little bit on? Emil's performance, who was very good when he came on, and, and the last four games, he's really seized his chance. Does that mean you don't need to sign another creative player in the transfer window? Well, that means that um, that we believe in him, that he's doing really well, that he's growing, um, he's becoming more and more important in the team. And today he showed that again, the way he came on. The personality that uh, he plays with, and uh, we ask him to... To be more in the box, uh, to be more of a threatening goal, and, and today he scored uh, a really important goal for us. Thanks. Thank you. Simon from Standard. Hi, Mikel. Um, can you just give us an update on what the situation is with Gabriel Martinelli, please? Yeah, I am um, got it. I was in my office before the game, and uh, one of the coaches came in and said that uh, Gabby hurt himself, that he twisted his ankle. And I went to the medical room, and he was in tears. He was in a lot of pain and uh, we're going to have to see how he is, but um, he didn't look good. Um, he was in pain, so I imagine that uh, we're not going to have good news with him. Is the plan, I'm guessing, to sort of scan him tomorrow and then Monday we should know what the diagnosis is? I, I hope so. Um, we really want to know what's going on. He's a character that says that he wants to play the next game, that he doesn't care that he can handle pain, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully there is not nothing too serious, but uh, to start with, it didn't look uh, too good. Thanks, Mikhail. Sam Wallace from Telegraph. Hello, Mikhail. Um, it's four wins in a row now. Um, I wonder if that tells you, um, especially with today's events, that you've got young players here at this club that you can really trust um, when, when backs are to the wall. Uh, yes, because in difficult moments to step in like uh, they've done is not easy. Uh, obviously, they need uh, the senior players around them, the, the players that have the experience and the players that can play central roles in the in the team uh, to, to be surrounded uh, for them. And I think we have a great mixture. Um, we cannot put too much responsibility on them as well. We have to build it slowly uh, because we have the talent. We have the right characters and we have them in different positions as well, which is uh, helpful and, and promising for the future. Uh, Charles from Goal. Hi, Mikhail. Um, Mikhail, how, how much of a concern is, is Willian's performances at the moment? He's, he's really struggling to make the sort of impact that we, we probably all expected he would when he arrived. Well, I think he was improving and improving. I think the, the other day he came on really well against West Brom. Uh, he's been out as well because um, he was ill. So he's missed uh, almost two weeks of training and football. And today was the first time that he started the game. Um, and uh, he had some good moments. He had some other moments that uh, he needed more help sometimes. And, and some decisions weren't the best. But uh, we're going to keep trying with him. Uh, He's showing in training how much he wants it. He's got some highlights in the game and it's about um, keeping the confidence on him. We know the player that he is and it's about time to... It's going to be quite hard to keep his confidence levels up when a 20-year-old sort of coming on and getting ahead of him in the pecking order now consistently. I, I think when the team is winning, it's, it's easier, you know, because it allows you a little bit more time um, to do that process. Uh, he needs to build those relationships with, with some players today. He played in a slight different position as well. Do we get that? Just on Thomas Party, you resisted the urge to bring him back in today. Him in and make sure he's absolutely 100% ready. Yes, because we assessed uh, the situation, how much running he's done and uh, the boxes that he's ticked. And uh, he was still a little bit short. Hopefully on Thursday we might have him uh, available in the squad. Let's see how he trains the next couple of days. Uh, he's been really good at the moment. Thanks, Mikel. Uh, Miles, do you want to ask a question? Your hand yeah, down. sorry about that. I was, yeah. <laughs> I was just going to ask Mikel what you made of this Newcastle United side because they've, they've pushed your team very hard in over 120 minutes. Yes, um, and we knew that was going to be the case. And, and when you make that many changes around the, the team as well, that cohesion sometimes is missing a little bit. 
I think we had more enough chances to put the game to bed uh, much earlier. But when you don't do it in the opponent's box and the game is open, um, you know that you're going to leave a situation or two for them uh, to score. And that's when in knockout stages, um, you need your goalkeeper to save you. And Bern did in a crucial moment. And then when we took our chances, we won the game. And I think overall, uh, we fully deserve to be so. We'll just take a couple 10.30 Sunday night embargo. 